What's up guys, Stacy here from Becoming Financially Fit and today I received my Robinhood cash management debit card here a couple days early. So what I want to do is give you guys um, a live unboxing of me. This is going to be my first impressions of the actual physical card. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you guys what it actually looks like Then I'll register it with my Robinhood app and then we'll actually get into what the Robinhood cash management debit card looks like. So let's get into it. So here's what the card came in. Um, you can see just a regular first class mail. Um, I was originally supposed to receive this on the 26th. It said at or around the 26th, but I did receive it a couple days early. I'm actually recording this on the 23rd. So um, it actually came in this pretty smooth little package, all black package. Um, and it has Robin Hood's um, um, logo right in the front. So I'll show you guys that. But it's pretty smooth. As soon as you get it, you can just pretty much just open it up. I think I showed you guys before. Just open it up and it'll show you. And it'll show you over here. It'll say democratizing America's financial system. So hopefully you guys can see that. Hopefully it was in focus. Then on the other side, it'll actually have the card, which I think is pretty cool. I actually got the, the black and the see-through option. So uh, let me take this out of the package and I'll show you guys exactly uh, what it looks like. So right behind there, it says just says activate on the app so hopefully you guys can see that um but here is the card it's actually really really cool actually um so on the top it just says debit it as the chip reader um and this card is sponsored by mastercard so you're going to see that mastercard logo and then down at the body you can also see the robin hood logo hopefully you guys can see that let me And so now getting to the back of the card, it actually has my card number and also my name on it. So I won't give you guys that information, but it has the card number. Um, it has the expiration date and the security code plus my name on it. But guys, first impressions, I really, really do like this car. Like I said, I got the all black and the see-through option. So if you guys can kind of tell, it's a pretty sweet card when you actually look at it. Um, but um, it's actually already linked to my Robinhood account, but what I need to do is I need to go in and activate it. So I'm going to take you guys through the process of when you receive your card, how to go into the Robinhood and also activate the card as well. So now we are logged into my cash management account. As you can see, I have $9.85 in my account. Um, I haven't really used it at all yet because I wanted to actually get the physical card first. I do have it in my um, Apple Pay wallet. I showed you guys that in my first video. If you guys haven't seen the first video, I actually go through what it looks like when you get off of the wait list. Um, so if you guys want to check that out, um, I'll leave a card up there with the video, but I actually go through the entire um, process of uh, going through the wait list, getting off the wait list, and then then how you set up your cash management account when Robinhood sends you that notification and it'll show you the exact notification they send. So um, I, like I said, I put that out a week ago, so hopefully you guys can, can go check that out. But here in the account, you can see it has $9.85 um, on, on buying power and also the withdrawal and spend. And this is a little different with buying power. That's the money that you can use to actually buy stocks. Um, and the withdrawal or spend is the money you can actually use either on your debit card or um, via Apple Pay with Robinhood. So what you can do, you can see there's no interest earned. I do have $9.85 in cash swept. And what that means is that that money is sitting over in the savings account, generating interest. And as, as you can see, my next pay date is December 31st, 2019. So here in about a week, I'll be getting an interest payment from Robinhood just for having my money sit in the account, the savings slash debit account, um, which I think is super cool. Um, as you can see, here is my account information. If you tap the card, you can see um, if you actually wanted to get your card number you can get your card number in in here and you can see my information is covered right now but you can show that card number you can lock your card or all, you can also change your pen so i've already changed my pen um so uh, it says right here have you received your card so we can go into this and it, and uh it says if so let's get it activated and set your pen if not we'll look into it so since i have received my card from robin hood i'll select yes and it says activate your card. Activate your debit card to start using it at in-network ATMs and anywhere MasterCard is, is accepted around the world. So I'll hit continue. So I'll enter in my expiration date that they gave me. Continue. Okay, now it's confirming my pen. So, 
So now it says location protection. It says protect your debit card with location protection would decline suspicious debit card transactions that happen far away from your phone's location. So what this means is that anytime you make uh, a transaction with your Robinhood cash management debit card, um, they're going to actually uh, take the GPS from your phone to see if you're in that um, general vicinity. And if you're not, they're going to decline it, which I think is pretty cool because if you ever lose your debit card, then they're going to automatically decline everything. One situation where this might not be the greatest is if your phone dies or um, if you've left your phone somewhere and you're just going out and you want to use your card, then it's automatically going to decline. But uh, for this one, I'll say skip for now. I might turn that on later. And it says your card is now activated. So your debit card is ready for use. You can modify your security settings anytime from settings. So I'll hit the done button and there we go. So now I am good to go with the Robinhood cash management uh, debit card. So um, I'll give you guys some some a decent look at the card as well now that I have it out of the package and it's activated and it's ready to go um, but as you can see here so far this month um, I haven't earned any interest but I have a 1.8 APY so I'm gonna start accruing interest like I said here in about a month so let me give you guys a look at what the card looks like up close and personal So just to give you guys some updates about what really is the Robinhood cash management account, it's a hybrid checking account, savings account that get, pays an extremely high yield. Currently the yield is at 1.8 APY um, and it actually pays your interest every single month. So whatever balance do you have left over in your Robinhood account at the end of the month or throughout the month, they do a calculation and they pay you out every month uh, based on that based on that outstanding balance and so right now i have currently have nine dollars and 85 cents in my account um and so what's going to happen is um, they're going to calculate how much interest i should have earned throughout the month and on december 31st i think december 31st they're going to pay me that interest back into my Robinhood cash management account so uh, once i do that maybe i'll send you guys an update or make a video about what happens when you actually get interest um uh, how does it look and things like that so if you guys are interested in something like that just give this video a like or, or drop a comment below uh, but getting into one of the other things with this card, you have free access to 75,000 ATMs in their network. And for me, I'm based in New York. So there's, I, I really checked the app and just to make sure it was gonna be a, a good fit for me. And there are so many ATMs that are available to me in my local area for free. Um, I can actually walk across the street and go to one right now. So that's how um, many ATMs are in the network. 75,000 didn't really seem like that much at first, but for me personally, it works out great because I'm in New York and there are a lot of ATMs around. Um, but um, for you, it may not. So I would definitely say if you're interested in the Robinhood cash management account, you should check out the ATM network to see if you're in that network to see if this card can work out for you as well. Another reason why Robinhood is at the top of the list as far as checking and hybrid savings accounts is because they offer um, everything without any fees. Um, usually when you actually deal with a company, they charge you either an account maintenance fee, um, a minimum balance or anything like that, but Robinhood has no fees. You can actually get up and running with their cash management account for $0. So if you guys actually wanna get on the wait list for this cash management account, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below so you can hop on that wait list and hopefully um, you can receive your Robinhood debit card um, as soon as possible. 
And one of the last great perks about the Robinhood cash management debit card is the fact that your money is protected. They have FDIC insurance through five correspondent banks and they give you coverage up to $250,000 for each correspondent bank, which equals a total of $1.25 million in coverage. So what they do for you is they split up that money across the different correspondent banks. So if you did have over a million dollars, what they would do is they would put $250,000 um, separately in each one of those accounts. So um, if anything were to ever happen, you would be covered up to $1.25 million in total or about $250,000 in each one of those different corresponding banks. You really don't have to keep track of this because Robinhood does it for you. And once they sweep it over from your uh, Robinhood account into one of those correspondent checking savings banks, then you're good to go and that's all you need to worry about. So guys, there you have it. That was the unboxing of the Robinhood cash management debit card. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Um, I was actually one of the lucky ones to actually get up on that list and get off of the wait list um, very, very soon. I know there's still about 800,000 people that are still waiting on the list. So hopefully they start to uh, release the card out to many, many more individuals. But um, if you guys have any questions about getting off of the wait list, um, the debit card or any other process about the in-app, how it works or anything like that make sure you drop a comment below and i'll try to answer anything you guys have as far as questions about the card questions about robin hood in general um, or anything of the sorts um uh, my channel is pretty much promoting personal finance financial literacy savings and investing so if you're interested in any of those topics make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell to be updated anytime i post new content um, that was a quick rundown of the robin hood cash management debit card um, and a quick unboxing of the card as well so um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned for more updates in the future see you soon